In this video, we are going to learn about something wonderful and fascinating called Leap Year. That's right, Leap Year. And as it so happens, the year we are making this video is a Leap Year, okay? So, needless to say, we're pretty excited. Whoa, wait, wait, wait a second. We haven't even explained what Leap Year is. What does that mean? What does that mean, Leap Year? Well, a leap year is a special year that has an extra day. That's right. Leap year is a special year that has a bonus day. Hooray! That day, commonly called leap day, is added to the end of February. Huh. Now, normally February has 28 days. However, on leap year, February gets an extra day, leap day, which is February 29th. So, leap year gives us an extra day called leap day, which is February 29th. But why? I mean, it's kind of cool, you know, some years have an extra day, but why? Why can't all years just have the same number of days? Well, we have to learn more about our calendar to discover that. There are lots of different calendars used all over the world, but the calendar that is most commonly used is called the Gregorian calendar. Can you say that with us? The Gregorian calendar. Uh-huh. Gregorian calendar. The Gregorian calendar is probably the calendar that is used in your classroom or in your home right now. The Gregorian calendar has 12 months, 52 weeks, and typically has 365 days. Notice we said typically because there are leap years, and leap years are years that have an extra day, but usually 365 days. It's interesting. With the Gregorian calendar, the length of a year is based on how long it takes the Earth to completely orbit the Sun. It takes 365 days and 6 hours for the Earth to orbit the Sun. And that's the problem. It doesn't take exactly 365 days. Those extra 6 hours each year add up. Six hours is one-fourth of a day. That means if you have an extra six hours for four years, you actually have an extra day. To fix this problem, we just add an extra day to February called Leap Day to equal everything out. This happens every four years, with a few exceptions every 400 years. The next year that is an exception will be the year 2100. It'll be a fourth year, but will not have a leap day. What if someone from that year in the future is watching this video right now? Wow, that would be so cool, wouldn't it? Or, if you are watching this as a kid, and in 2100, when everyone is looking forward to Leap Year, you'll say, Hey, Leap Day isn't happening this year. I saw a Hope School Pop video about it a long time ago. Alright, our final fact has to do with babies. Oh, babies. <laughs> Babies are born on Leap Day, February 29th, just like any other day. That's right. And here's the thing. They have to decide when they get older, are they going to celebrate their birthday on February 28th or March 1st? Because their actual birthday only comes along every four years. So they have to decide on regular years, are they going to celebrate it in February on the 28th or in March, the first. Wow, we learned a lot. Pretty much every four years is a leap year. We need to add a day because of the Earth's orbit around the sun. And the day we add is called leap day. Oh, and leap day is added to which month? 
Do you remember? Yes! February! February! February 29th is Leap Day, and it is a special feature of the Gregorian calendar. And it only happens on Leap Year. Are you watching this on Leap Year? Is this Leap Day? If this is Leap Day, think about what you want to do on this special day. It only happens every four years. And if you're watching this in the year 2100, sorry, there is no Leap Day this year, even though it's a fourth year. That's just one of those weird exceptions. You know, while you're watching this, how's, how's the future? What's it like? Is YouTube still around? Special thanks to our patrons who make videos like this possible. If you would like to help us and also get some cool homeschool pop tattoos, click the link below the video or visit homeschoolpop.com to learn more. As always, you are awesome. Thanks for learning with us.